Hello YouTube, this is Hippo Joe coming back with another video. This video will not be a video game playthrough like my last few. Instead, I'm doing a video that has been requested by countless people. Everyone wanted to know how I wired my claw machine, which is linked below, to run on the joystick with the cars. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to know about this is all the joysticks, or at least all the joysticks and arcade buttons that I've ever seen, all run on switches that look like this. I will be explaining these in detail later on, but for now just know that these are the directional buttons that are used in a joystick. Uh, you also need to know the basic you know, information about motors, electronic motors, which I will also be covering. Um, all electronic devices have an in and out on their power supply. These are called positive and negative. Positive being the in and negative being the out. If the motor does not have one of these then it will not work. This is why whenever you see power switches like this you see a straight line and a circle. The straight line is actually a direct line, a current, means that it is on, it is going through, electricity is traveling through it and back out of it. Now if it is a circle, like you see there, then that means that it is off. It means that the circuitry is going in, but it's not going out, it's just sitting there looping constantly, which is going to be very beneficial to us later on whenever we wire up the claw machine. Now. Like I said, the first thing you're going to want to know is the workings of a motor. Like I mentioned to you, there is a positive, which is right there, the red wire. It says right below, electricity enters the motor here. And the negative, which is also right there, says electricity leaves the motor. Now, you're going to want to keep that in mind. This is the basic switch for the joystick. Like I said, we would be explaining this uh, later on, well now it's later. The inner workings of it is like this. The uh, gray wire represents the current that's going through it. The yellow or greenish, whatever that is, is the uh, joint that connects it together. Now what happens if you push down that button on top, it switches the current from the top of uh, bar down to the bottom bar. If it's not pushed, it is on constantly on the top. If it's pushed down, it goes to the next bar. Now, let's also add in here a positive line and a negative line. We're also going to be adding in a power source, which in this case is going to be a battery, and we're going to be connecting the positive and negative like so. The positive is going to go into the switch into the intake down at the bottom and the negative is going to go over to our motor. Now what I have right here is I have the negative attached to both the positive and the negative. This will you know, become clear later on. For now we're going to be mainly focusing on the positive which is going into the switch. Now what we want to do is wire it to the bottom line which is going from the switch to the positive intake of the motor. Now, what this is going to do is whenever we push down the button, it is going to turn the motor in the positive direction. Now, let's say that we swapped the lines over and we put the positive coming from the switch to the negative going to the motor. What would happen would be that it would turn in reverse or a negative turn. Now this is the whole premise behind how the claw machine works. Let's go ahead and get two of these switches, one being the down and one being the up. We'll go ahead and wire the positive lines going into them. We'll go ahead and wire the positive lines going out. Now depending on which way yours is set up, it will Either the down is going to go to the positive or it's going to go to the negative, and the up is going to go to the opposite one. Now in my case, the down is going to the positive motor. So whenever I push the button down on the down switch, it is going to 
rotate the motor in a positive direction, meaning that the car is going to travel down. Now, let's back up, and if I push up button down, then it will rotate the motor in a negative direction, which will push the car forward. Now, this is exactly how you wire up the claw machine from the joystick to the cars. This is the same thing for all directions. If it's going left, right, up, down, the claw lowering, lowering, the claw raising, and the claw opening, and the claw closing. All of that is exactly the same. This is the same way you wire up any of them. Also, uh, keep in mind you're not going to want to use a double A battery. Uh, 9 volt, I actually had the entire qual machine running on 9 volt battery, but it only ran for about 15 minutes. So you might not want to do that. Anyway, I hope this helped, and if you all have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you for watching.